Johnson. In 1960, Ollie and Dave Kane built perhaps his most famous ride. From a small garage on Hill Street in Salem, New Hampshire, a 34-Ford three-window coupe went on to win throughout the entire Northeast. Later in the life of the Big O Coupe, John Yelland and Ollie moved the engine back for better handling. Longtime friend Bob Cloutier shown here assisting Ollie after a crash. The Challenger made its debut in late 64, owned by Art and Bruce Labonte of East Lynn Garage. This same race car later became Ollie's own Big O. Silva drove to his first point championship in 1967 at Lee Trioval Raceway. Late August of 1969, Ollie and Vic Miller were out with their new Sprint Super. In just three short weeks after its debut, Silva won his first Canadian-American International Classic. The same Silva Miller car took on many colors and transformations over the years. The Big O thrilled fans with its wheel-standing thread-the-needle passing. 
as we pick up the pace here well into the feature event, spring of 1970 at Star Speedway. On the track and in contention, one of New England's greatest rivalries. On the inside, the 5D's welding special of Don McLaren. And on the outside, the big O himself, Ollie Silva. Just back from the Sunshine State, Ollie Silva in the little 302 motor. And of course, Don McLaren in the 350 small block. For 15 years, these two have taken up the challenge. And once again, spring of 1970, and Star Speedway fans are on their feet. And this will be back-to-back -back features for Don McLaren, but as we check out the grandstands, not everybody's gonna agree with this one.